What's up, guys? So today we're going to talk about who wrote the Gospel of Mark. So let's get into it. So, according to tradition, John Mark, also known as just Mark, wrote the teachings of Peter down, which became the Gospel of Mark. John Mark was the son of a Mary, but not the Mary that gave birth to Jesus. He worked with Paul and Barnabas throughout the book of Acts, though they did have some tension. It's actually some interesting stuff if you want to check it out in Acts. So, who wrote the Gospel of Mark? Inside the Gospel, there is no direct claim to authorship, but we do find some clues inside the Gospel about who the author may be. The Gospel is fast-paced and uses phrases like immediately, very often. The Gospel focuses more on the humanity of Jesus, and the Gospel is written with some Latin wording. This includes the Latin words such as census, centurion, and denarius, among others. Also, the Gospel highlights the life of Peter more than the other Gospels do. An example of this comes from Mark 8:27 through 9:1, where Peter recognizes that Jesus was the Messiah. And for a gospel that claims to have Peter as the source, it makes sense that it focuses more on Peter. So, what about the external evidence? The first person to talk about the authorship of Mark is Papias, who lived from around 60 to 130 AD. This is a long quotation, but I want to go through it all. So here's what Papias says. He says, And the Presbyter said this, Mark, having become the interpreter of Peter, who wrote down accurately whatsoever he remembered, it was not, however, in exact order that he related the sayings or deeds of Christ, for he neither heard the Lord nor accompanied him. But afterwards, as I said, he accompanied Peter, who accommodated his instructions to the necessity but with no intention of giving a regular narrative of the Lord's sayings. Wherefore, Mark made no mistake in thus writing some things as he remembered them. For of one thing he took especial care, not to admit anything he had heard, and not to put anything fictitious into the statements. So Papias was the first person to write about the authorship of the Gospel of Mark. But Arrhenius, who also lived from around 130 to 280, also confirms Papias. He says that after their departure, Mark, the disciple and interpreter of Peter, did also hand down to us in writing what had been preached by Peter. So once again here, we have an early church father attesting to the authorship of the Gospel of Mark being Mark. So to wrap things up, we can see subtle clues from the inside about the Gospel of Mark being written by someone that would fit the profile of Mark. Additionally, the early church fathers are unanimous about Mark being the author of the Gospel of Mark. So thanks for listening, guys. I hope you liked this video. Big questions and good answers.